Hey, it's me again. Uh, well, we're at the front gate of um, uh, Marine Corps Air Station in Bracuni. Anyway, there's some cars over there. This video is showing you how to get to uh, Ibukuni Airport. That's new also. You don't have to go to Hiroshima like they used to, I think. Anyway, you just do a right turn right there, and right outside the gate, and you go down this road, and uh, you go down that apartment up there. That's probably a one bedroom apartment, and that probably goes for probably. I'd say probably 800 a month. And, uh, you know, the rents are sort of about the same. You can get a really cheap apartment, though, but you're not sure you want to live there. Anyway, we're cheating. I don't feel like walking, so we're going to drive. So this is open. This is also new too, but when the main gate was closed, they used the west gate uh, for about a year. Anyway, that's the west gate. And then you walk down about a kilometer, and you'll see the sign that says Ibukuni Airport. What's good about this, if you uh, if you go across that bridge, you'll go into downtown Ibukuni. That's the, really the fastest place to go to get something decent to eat, and that's where all the bars are, really. It's funny because this corner has a 7-Eleven right there, and it has a 7-Eleven right there, and then 365 where you can buy a lot of cheap stuff. It's like a uh, it's like a Walgreens. I like that store. And they got cheap alcohol if you're into that. That's parking for 365 right there. Now we're coming up on the uh, north gate the base. They hardly ever use this gate. It's for commercial use mainly and I'm not sure if that's just going to change in the, in the future or not but I doubt it. So this will always be the commercial entrance for the base. And that's the base over there just across that fence and people have been known to try to climb that fence and they get in trouble. Because they want you to go through the front gate. show you the airport real fast just so uh, you can see what, what the airport looks like when you arrive into Ibukuni Airport. It's really walking distance and the military flights dry, uh, fly directly to Ibukuni which is really nice after a 10 hour flight. And, uh, sometimes commercial flights you have to go to Narita first. And then, well, you know, it's sort of nice going to Narita, sort of check out and Narita.
just real boring, but they got McDonald's there. <laughs> so anyway, let's check out Cooney Airport. Here's the parking. Uh, it's pretty cheap, you know, but most people park right here because there's usually maybe only one airplane. And, you know, you don't have to... No crazy people telling you to move your car. That's why I just left it. It's pretty cool. And you see these people, they're unattended. Uh, hopefully no terrorists are listening. <coughs> Here's a really good place to eat over there. A lot of people come here just to eat. But let me show you around the airport real fast. You know, if you, a lot of airports, they tell you to come two hours early. Here, you're good to go 15 minutes early. It's pretty quick. Probably a really efficient air, uh, airport, but there's police, so don't be surprised if I have to end this soon. Uh, a and A is what flies in here from for uh, people coming from the states in the military. Hmm, that's really interesting artwork. That's for people arriving. That's the security part. Store. Where they for gifts and stuff. So they are sake. Thirty-eight bucks for that bottle. It's a good sake right there. I had that. Let it <coughs> sit on the shelf for a year, then it doesn't taste very good. Trust me. You gotta drink it water right away. It's really like champagne. I don't know why. It's not like wine where you can keep it forever. Some souvenirs. Airport. So anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you like it, other people get to see the video. Thanks for watching.